It's been 29 years since Bayer Leverkusen last got their hands on a piece of silverware when they won the DFB Pokal back in 1993. But today, with Marquis summer siding Adam Lorschek making his debut, another title tilt begins against third tier Elbersberg, who has still yet to suffer defeat in the current calendar year. Elbersberg looking to get themselves on the front foot and they've found Yannick Rockelt. Well, here he's got space to run into. Rockelt with the shot. Oh, he scored with the very first shot of the game. Just three minutes played and it's a dream start for Elversburg. They've caught Leverkusen cold and it was a fine finish from Rockelt. The question now is how will Leverkusen respond after falling behind early? Here is the debut on Loschek. Oh! Well, it's an immediate riposte. Less than a couple of minutes played, and Leverkusen are level. And it is a goal on his debut for Czech international Adam Lorschek. A sign of things to come, perhaps, from the youngster. But a moment to forget for Nicholas Kristoff. Fresh from their fourth tier promotion, Elbersberg really looking lively. And again, it's Rockel causing problems. And the referee, Martin Peterson, has pointed to the spot. Clumsy challenge from Morangis. Now Kevin Kofi, back to brace on match day one in the Dritte Liga. Has restored the lead for Elversburg. Just past the quarter hour mark. And the all-time record goal scorer grabs his 69th goal for the club. Arguably, potentially one of the most memorable yet. Half an hour played. Diaby. Finding Asmoon, this is lovely play from Leverkusen, and it's finished off by Charles Arangis. He kept cool inside the six-yard box as he atones for his earlier error that conceded the penalty. And we're all square at 2-2. Lovely ball forward from Arangis, flicked down by Schick to Asmoon! Oh, Elversburg, well, they're riding their luck, but they're going to have to today if they want to cause the upset. It's a lovely ball over the top, Kevin Kofi gives chase. Already one goal to his name, he's now found Schnellbacher! And they're in front again, can you believe it? Elversburg lead for a third time in this first half, it's no less than they deserve, and the cup set is on. Well, former Leverkusen sporting director Rainer Kalmund unimpressed so far. Another bright start to the second half from Elversburg. Energy levels have been restored and it's an early chance for Fellhauer. It's electric stuff from the hosts, but if you thought they were going to look to protect their lead and not add to it, you were very wrong. Approaching the hour mark and the pressure starting to build for Leverkusen. A chance now for Patrick Schick. Oh, he catches Kristoff off his line, but he is caught out by the offside flag. So his first goal of the season will not count. More frustration for Leverkusen. Lovely play from Elversberg once again. Oh, Tapsoberg got a touch. It was a risky one. Could have been an own goal, but there were players loitering dangerously. Right now, Leverkusen living dangerously. Elversberg feel they need a fourth goal. Oh, Conrad's on my! The cut set is well and truly on because this is the first time in the game Elversburg have led by two. The question is, can they hold on for the final 15? Diaby. Lovely burst of pace. Finding Patrick Schick. Well, oh, they've got it back to 4-3 Leverkusen in the 89th minute as the dynamic duo of Diaby and Schick combine. Is it too late, though? Schick's first of the season does spark hopes of a comeback, though. Well, all the added time has been played. There may be one last chance in it here for Leverkusen. Joel Poyampolo gobbled up by Kristoff. He's been one of the heroes. And there goes the final whistle. It is a magical moment in the history of this small town club from Elversburg. They're still unbeaten in 2022 and riding a wave of euphoria that has taken them in to the second round of the DFB Pokal.